and welcome everybody to another MO7 Productions to an yeah, to another MO7 Productions here with you with another Trails in the Sky. So last time we pretty much went through a ton of talking, a cutscene, and then um we came here to town. I learned how to walk. I went through some of the menus and um that's really about it. So let's see what everything is. Guards. General goods store. I gotta go here anyway, because I'm supposed to be picking up a magazine. No, uh, newspaper. Pair of shoes? No. I do need new socks, I guess, apparently. I copy the liberal news. So how much does that cost? Not here till this afternoon. Okay, so it'll be after training. What was this place? Horrible factory bracer guards. I do like that they have icons on the top of their buildings. That is actually cool. It's actually easier to use the joystick than to press the button. Now, granted, this right here makes it easy to know it's a general food store because of the bread and potion icon. That's actually pretty cool. Um. Liberal royal family church. Okay. Hundred day war. Bombed. Ooh. Mm. Right, so. So. Where am I supposed to go? Will he tell me if I ask him? Is there anything that tells me where I'm supposed to go? I don't believe it does. There was a building up here. I wanted to see what it was. Guess I'm not going to. Alright, we'll go to the landing port. I guess, I guess he would stop me if I was going the wrong way. Object prohibited? Sure. <sighs> All this nonsense is the reason why you can't get a girlfriend. <laughs> you wound me, Estella. But it's because of this enjoyment that I feel... I didn't know this was going to be an important story. Um... Enjoy that. I feel that it's worth doing this job. It's a paradise. Ha 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 ha. This guy is serious. Nut job. Um, very possible, yes. So this looks like some kind of train station, maybe? Probably not a train station. So there's nothing here. Not that I can find. Run back to that. It is... So there's a main road. I don't think I need to go to the mayor's residence. So I'm going to go to Main Street. Guildhouse South Avenue? Oh, where's South Avenue? Oh. I went to the wrong one. Main Street's this down here. That's why I couldn't find it as a bar. Oh, let's go in. What are you selling? I could shop from here. Wholesale pasta. French fries. Flowery soda. Carmen I. Huh? I could buy anything right now. I know I'm not going upstairs and exploring upstairs as much as I could, but... And now I'm just going crazy. Oh, it's not the same room, okay. Uh... Yeah. Actually, let's go 
Oh, and over. Oops. If that's not the guild house. Okay. Mayor's residence it is. I've already passed the guild house. Am I stupid or something? I, I bet I looked right at it and just don't realize it. I don't believe this is going to be anything for me. What is this place? That's a church. I don't even want to enter there. What are you? Bracer Guild. I, I looked right at it. Oh, I'm, uh, I'll be right back, y'all. I've got to pause the recording real quick, and I'll actually have to make a little run, and I'll just be right back. All right, and I am back. Sorry for that little intermission that um disappeared in a blink for y'all, but um took probably y'all know five minutes for me. Okay, uh, Anna, Amy, Anna. I'm gonna call her Anna. Whatever. Um, we'll we'll get through this together. Don't worry, everybody. We'll do it. We'll make it through this. There are, <laughs> there. I've already fucked that up. <laughs> there are you two are. Gosh darn it. Good morning, Estella. Good morning, Joshua. Morning, Anna. Maybe. No. Good morning. I'm not even gonna try with names. I'm, I'm done with names already. Is Scara here already? Yes, she's waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. We'll do our best. Run! What happens if I hit the map icon here? Nothing. I see it says map at the top, but okay, let's see. Can I click on that? Okay, I can. Okay, so there are some things that can only be done with the mouse. But that's fine. I just need to remember that. I did notice on Steam it says. You know, since Steam it says mostly playable with controller. I know I'm playing with controller. That's just how I am. I kind of prefer to be able to have the freedom with my hands right now. Uh, there are games I much rather prefer with um, mouse and keyboard. This is not one of my like my RPGs to have controller over mouse and keyboard. I really do. I don't like the clickiness when playing an RPG, especially since I've got an extra clicky keyboard because I like the extra clicky feel. This. Stars and the Hanged Man. The Hermit and the Magician. And last of all, Inversion through the Will of Fortune. It may have been Invention. Hmm, this is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Good morning, Scare. I kind of don't like how they do the, like, the... The blurring to change position why can't why they couldn't just model the turning of the head and opening of eyes why it had to be um why they had to like blur it as they changed i don't really like that too much aggravates me a little all right um well isn't it well if it isn't estella and joshua this is a rare occasion for the both of you sorry, for for the both of you to show up so early yeah i did have that this is my last day of training. I figured, why not? I, I'm ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I, I can. I think every way I can think of to make sure that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. I hope you're ready. I can feel the enthusiasm dropping already. Dropping? Quiet you. Okay. Every time I teach you something, you somehow manage to forget it. This training is my way of trying to keep some of that information in your head instead of letting it dribble out of your eyes like it usually does. Hmm. Good use of dribble. I didn't even think of using it that way ever. Why, ah, Joshua, Scarlet Scar is picking on me. Don't worry. Scara, while... Ah, words please. While Estella may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework, Axe Rashley is overly naive 
and has a tendency to stick her nose in everything, into everything. Her instincts are sharp, so I'm here, are sharp, so I'm here to pick up on how to use an ornament, ornament with some practice eventually, probably. I guess there's no, not much I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a second, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling that you that you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's well, that's odd. I'm positive. I'm positive. I described you your best. Sorry, I described all your best traits accurately. Whatever. By the way, Scara, what were you trying to predict with your tarot cards? Your face was really intent. Oh, that's. I was just trying to get a vague reading about what might happen in the near future. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have have been in the best mindset to interpret the cards correctly. You couldn't read the cards? Now that's surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. So, profound meaning more accurate? I guess. But that's not important now. I think it's time to start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information you've covered in your previous training. Oh yeah, that would be great because I really need it, I guess. This is the minimum level of knowledge that bracers should have in order to function effectively. Makes me wonder if there was uh, games before this that I missed that... um over like the whole thing I really should probably look at this now okay um and Stella make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say yeah yeah <laughs> oh bracers first bracers are investigative and combative specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their representative regions. I kinda like that. They aid the community in various ways, such as experimenting, sorry, exterminating, not experimenting, exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. Bracers Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the bracers in each region. Learn about the kingdom. The kingdom of, of Liberal, in which we live, sits on the western half of the Zermurian continent and bonds with nature and deep rooted tradition. Liberal is. Liberal. Oh, saying that's annoying. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent and is known for the high levels of technology used to develop ornament. Ornament technology is, has also been a key pillar of support for Liberal in, Liberal in protecting its independence as it has contained... Sorry tend it with neighboring nations. <laughs> Ten years ago, notification. Uh, why would anyone do that? Good luck for them. Ten years ago, Liberal was was invaded by Air Air Airbanian. Em, invaded by the Embaranian. Empire. It was the use of horrible powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive, but thanks to the Queen's political finest liberal enjoys peace. I may have a cat jumping up here. Ormond. Are you coming up here? Come on, Kiki. That's right, come cuddle with me while I play my games like you like to do and you haven't done in forever now. Ormonds are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital energy. Let me get 
my cord where you're not going to chew on it, because if you chew on my fucking cord, I just turn my audio down, chew on my fucking cord, I'm going to beat you with a lava lamp, probably, I don't know. Alright, uh, a variety of effects can be produced depending on their structure and the type of quartz or process spectrum installed. Okay. Although it's only been about 50 years since their invention, these devices play an integral role in all faucets of our life. Oh, sorry. Of life from lights, heaters, and other everyday products to weapons, magic, and even airships. In connection, this technology reforms... This technological reform is commonly known as the Orbal Revolution. I kind of feel like I actually read those in the great order. I probably should have done that one first and read them in upwards order. Let's see. Since we've got a mountain of stuff to do today, I'll let you off the hook this time. What, what with a considered re condensed review. Okay. I'm going to spin, speed things up now and move on to practical portions of your training. Uh, Sierra? How is today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since that's practical, that means that you'll be experiencing things firsthand. Therefore, I am going to have the both of you run through everything as if there were a real, if, if this were a real bracer job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any sitting at a desk involved? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Best kind of test there could be. The no study pass. I'm gonna move my fidget spinner out the way because I'm trying to set my controller on it. Keep my hands busy somehow, but um, when I'm not pressing the buttons, that's what I need to do. This time you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure to have you work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes, that's seriously just what the doctor ordered. Good. I don't know what is... Sorry. I don't know what I was going to do if I had to sit another day with my tush parked in a desk. I guess I got all worried about... All worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Stella. Let's just hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Yes, please. Let's have at it. Ah, more talking. First objective will be to confirm the details of the job you will be performing. But before, the, before that, there is something that we need to give the both of you. Aina, are you ready? Yes. They, yes, they are. All right, you two. Go get one for each of yourselves. Moon, you know you opened up the door. Now it's getting cold in here. They're in very, these are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Racer's Notebook. Racer's Notebook serve as the official way to record the status of your current jobs. Good. I need someone to tell me what the hell I'm doing. Also, anything you may hear or anything that you may find where these kind of travel things can be also written can often become clues. No matter how in, in, insignificant things may seem, always write it down. Understood. Crap, that sounds like a lot like it's going to be a pain. I know, right? Oh. Please tell me it was my ears playing trick on me because I swore I only got one response. Uh, I'm sure there were two. Keep an accurate account of events. Keeping an accurate account of events is an important duty for all bracers. So get with the program and stop trying to make this out to be more than it really is, Estella. Okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. All right, then. Let's begin. Look over by the door and you'll see that there's a bulletin board standing there. Let's see, four bulletin boards. First, I want you to go and check the job description posted there. Question mark will appear, pressing OK. 
By selecting the job names on the list, you can view their details. Or is it only one? Can I not just go to any of them? No. Training retrieval. Term log, client. Sure. Hey, 500 Mira. Yay, I get paid for this. Every request. Yeah. This, this training will involve searching the sewers beneath Roland and bringing back the contents of a chest. See someone for details. Book can be easily found by clicking on the books tab of the items menu. It can also be accessed by configuring the bracer's book shortcut button in the configuration menu. Okay, very good. Looks like you were able to see what was posted without any trouble. Checking the bulletin board is one of the most basic functions a bracer performs on their job. Checking regularly to see whether or not there are any urgent tasks which need immediate action is also an important duty for bracers. And all, all this talk about duty is starting to cramp my style. Sure, there are lots of rules to follow, but there's an equal level of responsibility in their jobs themselves. I think being a bracer calls for much more than just someone with a half-hearted attitude. Um, I guess you're right. I'll just have to be more motivated. Why is that so? Um, is, is that supposed to just say, is that so? Okay. Had a chance, change of heart, have you? You betcha. Well, before all that motivation sneaks off somewhere, let's get to work on your next task. What we'll be doing this time heading across the streets to Mr. Rune's Orville Factory and learning about how to use its services. He has graciously taken time out of his work schedule to explain things, so make sure to be on your best behavior. Gosh darn. Ah. Uh, okay. Here is where you will learn how to use an Orville Factory services. At an Orville Factory, you can modify your Orbment and synthesize, synthesize support ports in order to use orbital arts. Arts have a wide range of effects and, if mastered, can be extremely, yeah. extremely helpful. The bracer business is pretty risky. Um, risky is a pretty risky occupation. So the guild has had a long-standing relationship with these orbital factories. Anyway, this is about as much as I can explain. I'll leave the technical details to the expert. So Mr. Melders, if you wouldn't mind taking over from here. Yes, please tell me something. And I'd love to do something before, you know, time's up on this one. No problem, leave everything to me. Do it, kitty, soft kitty, find all of her. I know I screwed up the song, but I'm still going to pet my kitty singing randomness. So, what is it you all would like to know about? Everything. Performance or mechanical vice in which exhibit an array of effects, though the insulation of various types of ports. By definition, that means that lights, airships, engines, and so on are also types of orbits. And the ones that we will be discussing today are battle ornaments which enhance the user's physical abilities and make it possible to use magic. Such an such that yeah, since each ornament is adjusted to match the owner's person personal aptitude, the structures for these devices also differ for each owner. Okay. Simply put, the shapes of the fixed elemental slots and lines which connect them vary at any at any rate, that's the layman's explanation. In order to install quartz, you must first have an open slot. By definition, the central slot is open, but the other slots must be opened at, at an orbital factory like this. It will be 
will be a fairly will be a fair amount of septin septith to whatever that is. Right, so hold on. The central slot is open, but the other slots must be open in or okay. So I guess that means I could change some things but not all of it. EP whatever that is. Which is needed for magic will also see a max increase according to the number of open slots. I reckon make I recommend opening them all as soon as possible. So what is you like to know about? Go to arts. Simply put, orbital arts are magic which can be discharged exclusively through the use of battle ornaments. In other words, a number of particular effects can be produced by using the using the orbital energy stored within these mechanical devices. Since orbital arts can be a mouthful, they are almost universally referred to as arts. Probably, probably ought to have been calling that call have been called that from the get go. These are several types. Sorry, there are several types of arts. But in order to be able to use them, their corresponding chords must first be synthesized at an orbital factory. Ornaments are also set up so that once a particular quartz is installed into a slot owner will be able to use those arts. So I have to adjust my watch. The type of arts can... The type of arts can... The type of arts one can, can use also changes depending on the elemental value of the combination of installed quartz. Basically, if you want to use water arts, all you have to do is install quartz with the water elemental value. In reality, ornaments are much more complex than what I have described, but I think this information should suffice for now. What would I like to know about? Quartz. Why not? Quartz are um, circuits made from Cephas. Quartz have a vast number of effects and raises the owner's ability, which stimu stimu simultaneously makes it possible for them to use art. However, you will not be able to harness any of these effects un until quartz have been installed into a slot. However, these are also fixed slots in which any, which only a certain type of elemental quartz can be installed. Oh. Okay. So, this being the case, when you synthesize a new quartz, be sure to check your ornament and, and decide where you will be installing it ahead of time. So, what? Oh, what to know about? I'm gonna look at what this is. So this is a fragment of septum, which are dropped by monsters. They are divided into seven types: of earth, ground, water, fire, wind, time, space. I kind of like space and mirage. Mirage. Time, space, and mirage sounds like they might be my favorites. Silvers can be exchanged for mirror almost anywhere, but at the orbital factory, it can be used to synthesize quartz and to open or mint slots in which to install and synthesize quartz. So, what is it you like to know about? That's really it. Gosh darn it. 28 minutes in, and there's nothing but talking stuff. I like talking and I love games like this, but it is hard to make videos of games like this. But we'll make it through this. We're gonna do this, y'all. We'll be fine and get on through. It looks like Mr. Melders has answered all of your questions. If there's nothing else, then let's have you both, both try and use surfaces here. For that, you're going to need some surface of each element. With that amount, you too should be able to synthesize a few quartz. Now I want to begin the first making an element quartz that will work with each of your particular ornaments. In your case, Estella, any elemental quartz is okay, but for you, Joshua, it has to be time elemental quartz. Good, I like time anyway. Normally at a shop, you will be able to exchange servers for Mira, but for this training, you will not be able to use, use this service. Unproach the counter and talk to the talk to 
a talk mark will appear. Pressing the OK button, blah, blah, blah. Uh, display a list of options. Select modify or trade to use horrible factory services. It's going to be you. What does talk do? need to make I don't got gold um increases agility that strength and defense that increases my HP I think I will actually use her for healing honestly I think really do think I should and I need to make I'm one anyway. Okay, so what the hell am I doing? Okay. Not a quartz into your ornaments, and you can use both recovery and attack arts. Quartz can be installed on an ornament screen. The ornament screen can be utilized by selecting ornament tab in the main menu. I'm gonna put the water one there. Then you go ahead and just put that there. Oh, that's the only what I can do with that, I think. Okay, yeah, I see what it's doing. It's telling me what orbital arts I have at the bottom. Okay. And then there was another tab. Was the books. That's the map. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, what? Hold on. Oh no. There's so many things to look at. Why can't I click on this other tab? Do I actually have to use Oh, no, I don't. Okay, I see how it works. Okay. Alright, looks like you've both gotten recovery. Done here, it should make dealing with monsters much easier. Additionally, your bracer and your books contain information about which courts allow you to use which arts. If you'd like to, you like to use more powerful arts, check out the arts and courts charts in your bracer notebooks and find something works for you. Alright, our training here is almost finished. Last of all, I'm going to have one of you open a new slot in your ornament. The, the, the more slots you have available um, to you, the broader range of choices you'll have. I'm definitely going to do that for, for the girl because she has the ability to use pretty much any kind and right now she's only got healing and I'd like her to have more than just that possibly. Since EP, um, which is consumed by using arts, you um, arts can have its max value increased by opening opening slots. It would be a good idea to open them all early on. Now I want you to use the Seffin and open a slot on each of your ornaments. Okay, I'll do both. Go ahead and decide which slots you're going to open. Modify.
Um, actually, like to this one. So. It's efficient. Okay, fine. Do that one. Okay, no. Oh. How am I supposed to open one on each? You are free to install any type of cord you like. This concludes our training here. The Orbital Factory. Okay, so I only got to do it on one of them, not on both. That's fine. I still wanted hers anyway. Oh. Now it's time to move on to what we're, what you've both been waiting for. The qualification test. Portion? Did you just say test? You can't honestly call me that. Tell me that you forgot about the test again, can, can you? Didn't I remind you just this morning? Ha 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 ha. Now that you mention it, I vaguely remember some sort of talk along those lines at breakfast table. Sometimes I fear for the results of the Bracer Guild and humanity. Oh well, no sense in worrying about. Now let's head over to the testing area. You mean like now? I, I didn't get the read that I hit too fast. No, no. How about you, little? How about a little less yapping and a little more walking? Ah, she dragged me away. I know, Freddy. Thank you for your help, for all your help. Don't mention it, and good luck. Going to remember that you left me high and dry like this, Joshua. All your training has finally come down to this. Your qualification test will begin here. I expect to see you both what you've learned up to this point. Understood. Yes. What's wrong? Um, Scara? What now? Kind of wondering, but is is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did, did Cassius drop you on your head as a child or something? You just read what it said on the bulletin board not long ago, right? Yeah, and and I even made made you jot it down. You read it in your bracelet notebook, unless you forgot that. I'm pretty sure the job listing mentions searching for searching for and retrieving an item from from the sewers. Ring um ringing any bells yet? Uh, what a relief. Oh, divine adi adios. I give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon. Uh, such wonderful gifts as sewers. So what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test. No wonder you were acting all crazy back at the horrible factory. Uh, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in the classroom are starting to feel like grand memories indeed. I'm really starting to wonder if you will ever be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? Alright, that's enough jabbering you two. This is supposed to be a test. So how about you both how about how about the both of you try to at least look a little anxious? Just so you know, though, if you happen to flunk the you don't even want to imagine what kind of homework you have you have in store for the both of you. That will be fine. Just tell us what you want us to do and let us loose. Well, if you're so confident, then how about pr proving that you're not just blowing hot air with the results of your test? Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board, this test will be search will be a search conducted in the sewers. Your objective is to retrieve the content of a chest which has been placed somewhere within the area. The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you don't need to worry about getting lost either. However, there are real living, breathing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let your guard down, you will be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Tear, tear balm. Monster guide. What's this book for? It's called Monster Guide, and it's used to record information about monsters and other opponents you meet. 
Whenever you figure out a monster's attributes, you should make an, make an immediate note of it in there. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. He, he who control the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? That's extremely what, that's exactly what I'm saying. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Sarah. That's not what her name is. Um, we'll put it to good use. Sure. Alrighty then, let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's. Don't forget about... Don't forget, though, this is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. Alright. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. It's been 40 minutes. It's a little longer than I usually go. I didn't want to stop in the middle of conversation. So I'm going to stop here. Till then, hope y'all have enjoyed, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.